Good morning, everybody. Being happy is ultimately about wanting nothing, doing anything, and having everything. Sounds easy, right? Please welcome best-selling author Neil Pazricha to tell us how to do that. So good to see you. Good morning. Thanks, Neil. Thanks for having me back on the show. It's always so inspiring to talk to you, and we need this. I mean, it's beautiful outside. Lots to be happy about. Yeah. Lots to be sad about in the world. So let's begin with three easy tips we can all do beginning today. The first one is choice. You say we make upwards to 300 choices in a day. Yeah, and what I'm trying to say is our busyness. We're also busy, and our busyness is getting in the way of our happiness. So I say eliminate choice, time, and access. Choice, you're right. We're making too many decisions. You know how I got here this morning? I don't know, right? <laughs> I, take, I take the Waze traffic app. It tells me which way to go, and I just follow it. Um, I wear the same clothes every time you interview me or every time I'm on a stage. It's a decision I don't make. How can you make less choices? Some people say to me, I just make double dinners every night, and then I take leftovers for lunch. I avoid the Harvey's or Swiss Chalet voting buttons that people email around my office. Choices are exhausting. Exhausting, yeah. and your brain can only process so many. By eliminating the things you don't care that much about, it frees your mind to focus on the things you do. And you said you eat the same breakfast every day, eliminate your choice, frees your mind. Exactly. Also, you mentioned time. How do we make better use of it? Because we all seem it's just it's impossible to get everything done, especially as a parent. Yeah, exactly. Well, there's a famous law called Parkinson's Law, and it says that work rises to the time available for its completion. So what I mean is if you have two weeks to hand in an essay in high school, you take two weeks. You hand it in when it's due, right? But if you can shrink the amount of time you have, then you actually get more done. Chores bog me down, and my wife Leslie. So we do a chore Saturday blitz, the first Saturday of every month. Three hours, I sent her an invitation on my phone. She accepted it, it's a recurring meeting. Okay. And then the first three hours of every Saturday in the month, we do our chores blitz, and for 29 days, we don't think about it because we've reduced the amount of time we have for it. It's done. Let me give you one last example, email. People are checking email all day. What if you just decided to check email from 9 to 10 in the morning and from 4 to 5 p.m.? I've started that thanks to you. You gave me that advice last time. I shut off and yeah. people were like, where are you? They used to be able to like have you, you respond right access. away. I was always thinking work, work. It's I live such a happier life thanks to that, Ted. Oh, well, I'm so happy to hear that because yes. for people that create that six-hour oasis in the middle of the day, they've reduced the amount of time they have for email but actually freed up their mind. Yep. Also, you mentioned access. You say yeah. we have six access points. Yeah. To ourselves. The average person does, okay. yeah. So when, when I say access points, I mean you're checking LinkedIn and you're checking Facebook and you're checking Twitter, Twitter. you're checking your text Instagram. messages, someone's Email. phoning you, someone maybe tapping on your, on your shoulder, right, at work. So there's ways that people get to you. And McKinsey says that 30% of our day is bookmarking, prioritizing, and switching between tasks. It's a complex part of your brain. You're like trying to decide what's more important. What I say is you need to focus access points to one. So you need to decide which channel you're you're going to focus on if that's going to be Twitter. Just Twitter? Just Twitter. Which, by the way, is, is not bad if that's, okay. your, if that's your primary channel or just texting. And just do one. I know a CEO of a big company in Toronto, she just does texts. Text. Everyone only gets to her by text. As a result, she's eliminated email as a big distraction and she's eliminated social media as a big distraction. Yikes, that seems impossible in this day and age where you, you have to kind yeah. of be everywhere. But you say multitasking is not a thing that works. No, and I say if you can't go from six to one, try six to five. Like take the social media account you use the least and just delete that one. Yeah. Try it for two weeks or at least delete the access to it on your phone. So you have to like go onto a computer to do it. Even that alone will slow you down. I because, love these yeah. practical tips, guys. So it's called the happiness equation. It's been on the best sellers list for a full year and going strong. Also for the kids, you have Awesome is Everywhere. And of course, you are everywhere giving talks. You're in such demand because your tips are really practical as well as philosophical. Thank you for helping all of us. For more information, breakfasttelevision.ca. Right now over to Kev. He's happy, I think. <laughs> I hope so.